If you do not know what you are doing when it comes to pots, you're, you're going to need to let, listen to this, right? You totally do. Because you got I to save tell you us money. what we need. I'm going to save you money because don't buy a whole bunch of years worth of poo poo. -poo. <laughs> like, don't, don't buy crappy ones because some of these are older than like one of my ex husbands. No, not older, but like my marriage. You know, like they've survived. Well, right, this one. And the marriage has not. It's not. I mean, this one is like 30 years old. Come on. Really? Yeah. So these so are good. Take these care are really of good pans. Yes. Yeah. Buy them once, and then you don't ever have to buy them again. I guess, I guess that, that's the point I was trying was to make. Was that the point? Yeah. No, because some of us do make this mistake. We're going off to university. It's the first time we need to have our own set, and we're going to go, and we're going to skimp on it. Yeah. Whereas if you get a good set, then you, you will have it for, it life. for life. So for what life. are we looking for for okay, a good set? So, well, first of all, you're looking for, you're not always necessarily looking for price point, but you're looking for um, something that's heavy. All right, okay. because it has to conduct heat really well. Yeah. All right, so pick up a pick up a pan when when you go to buy it, and if it's if this it's heavy, heavy, it's very heavy. So that means it's going to conduct the heat, Ooh. and it's going to have the heat all the way around it. Some pots are, are cheaper, and they only have the heat in the the heaviness in the bottom, mm -hmm. and they don't conduct the heat up the sides. Oh. And then I wouldn't suggest buying a whole set. I think you only need specific things. Okay. okay. And buy where you are in your life. So over here, yeah. um, I bought this cast iron frying pan when I was first on my own. Good because it's like a little tiny one, right? Yes. And then when I got married, I bought this one. Okay, so yeah. there's two of us now. Mm -hmm. And then when I had Andrew, I mm -hmm. bought the bigger one. Okay, oh, is so that how you did it? Yeah, because they're investment pieces. Is they, what they are. They're, exactly. You're spending a lot of money, so make sure you only get what you need. Exactly. Because if I had this as a single person, one egg in that, what a dope. Anyway, yeah. so and then I hope it. you notice that I stack them between sheets of paper towels I did notice that. or between because you don't want to scratch them up. Oh. And then uh, so cast iron is a really good investment. So I think that's one a good one to have. Yeah. And then uh, let's just talk about non-stick and get that out of the way. So okay. non-stick is not Teflon. Teflon is a brand name mm -hmm. from DuPont, but it's like Kleenex tissue, you know, versus right. tissue. Yeah. So the generic name is called non-stick. And you have to take care of them really well. If you don't, you'll ruin them and you, you destroy the finish. Okay. So all the instructions are on the label, but nobody reads that. Oh, they go, I've never read I know how to use a frying pan. You stick it on the stove. Okay, right. right. No. So you want to uh, always wash them in, in warm soapy water first. Okay. And then you need to season them by, by putting some oil on a paper towel. Yeah. And rubbing it in and then cooking it. And okay. then every single time you use that, that nonstick pan, instead of just pouring the oil on top and letting it swirl around, yeah. you need to rub it in again because you're kind of reseasoning it. Every and you're, time you cook Every the pan? time, instead of adding the oil to it, you season the pan like that. And oh. then it's going to last forever and ever. So okay. that's instead of actually just throwing the oil in and then throwing the onions in and sautéing them, yeah. just do that? Because the nonstick is supposed to uh, allow you to use less fat. And so when you put oh. the fat into a nonstick, the fat, the, the food is cooking in the oil versus cooking in the nonstick pan. Oh, I see. Okay, and then there's, okay. a, there's a green pan right now. This is a ceramic finish. Yeah. You have to be really careful on all nonstick. Never heat above medium because you're going to wreck them as well. So always medium heat okay. and then always wrap the oil. Now this one I just want to show you. I've kept this for show and tell for years. This is a $325 nonstick pan that some students who came and worked in my house ruined oh because no. they, they put a knife in it. And I've, so this is throwaway. I'm not going to use this ever again because the chemicals that they use in there could leach into my food. So what did and they so do? They, so they, they used dug? a knife. Oh, and I okay. can see the little, can marks, see the little marks So that's, that's toast. So you need to use the right utensils mm -hmm. when you're using nonstick. And I, use, uh, I usually use wood, mm -hmm. but you've got plastic and you've got uh, like a silicone one as well. Okay. What did you say to those students? I said, get out of my house! <laughs> no. no, I cried. I actually cried. And they and, probably and felt awful. Well, and, and they should have, because I said, you don't put a knife in it. You ruined my $325 pan. I know, and I said, don't put a knife in it. Anyway, oh. whatever. Okay, so then the other one. So, all right, okay. so that's just another frying pan. We'll just put that, we'll put that down here, because we talked about frying pans. All right, so over here. Now, this is a big honking pot Huge. that you'd use to make stock. Yes. Or if you were a midwife and you were boiling water for babies. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> a cauldron. that's a huge one. So, you know, don't, well, that's too big for pasta, right? Right. This is a, a kind of a dutchy oven kind of thing for pasta. Yeah. And then we have the different sizes, Sauce but pans. I think the last stock pans, I think the last one I just want to show before we go is a Dutch oven. Mm. And this is totally worth the investment because this will last forever. I've had this for years, so uh, I think a Dutch oven is a good buy. A, Take a care good of skillet it. and it's a couple a of saucepans and take care of them. Wash them with baking soda. Oh, Don't use scrubbers. Okay. Baking soda. Don't put your knife in the pan. Oh, my goodness.